Today, we are gathered here to announce to our people and to the world the legal designation of one third of our ocean territory as a marine protected area. The people of Seychelles, an island nation in the Indian Ocean, depend on a healthy, thriving marine ecosystem. Jobs in the fishing and tourism industries employ more than one third of the country's workforce. Because of this, oceanic nations like Seychelles are among the most vulnerable to climate change. Climate impacts like rising sea levels and hotter oceans threaten to devastate fish populations in coral reefs that attract tourists. In 2016, in partnership with local NGOs and with the support of generous donors, the Nature Conservancy and the Seychelles signed a debt for conservation deal, the first for marine conservation in climate adaptation. Seychelles committed to increasing its marine protection from just 0.04% of its waters to 30% by 2020. The Seychelles government bought back 21.6 million US dollars of its sovereign debt at a discount using private philanthropic funding and loan capital raised by the Nature Conservancy's NatureVest team. The government now repays those loans to a local trust, the Seychelles Conservation and Climate Adaptation Trust, or SACAT. SACAT uses the repayments to support new marine protection areas and fund marine conservation and climate change preparation projects. We met with more than 200 people, including people from the government, the fishing and tourism industries, and local communities to develop a marine spatial plan. The plan details areas where certain activities, like fishing and tourism, are allowed, and other areas that are close to extraction to protect fish and corals. 13 new marine protection areas covering more than 410,000 square kilometers, an area larger than Germany, will now be guarded from climate change and economic exploitation. These areas protect important species like dugongs, humpback whales, manta rays, sharks and endangered turtles. They also safeguard economically vital fish like tuna. Corals in cooler waters are now better protected and could recolonize reefs affected by future bleaching events. And the potential scale is even greater. The Nature Conservancy estimates that up to 85 countries could use a similar model to develop more resilient economies through marine conservation. This could be a game changer for ocean protection. Seychelles' incredible achievement is a testament as to how investing in nature now helps governments and local communities in the future. We are grateful to our funders who made a critical investment at the right time to launch this audacious idea. Thank you.